Hey everyone, it's Cass with Tales of Wanderlust. And if there's one thing that you learn to not take for granted on the road, it's water. And if you want to find out why it took me three hours to get nine gallons of fresh water, stay tuned. So I'm down to about 25% on my fresh water tank. I go through my fresh water about two to three times as fast as I do my black gray water. So I'm only at about 19% on the black gray tank. Since I'm wearing a hat, you know it's hair washing day. So I need to go find some fresh water so I can take an actual shower and wash my hair. I also am really enjoying this new park that I'm at and I don't want to leave to go dump and fill. Usually I just go on to Campendium. I find a local dump station. Most dump stations have fresh water and I fill up my three and six gallon water jugs there and then just dump them right into my fresh tank but I don't see anything on Campendium for the dump stations. I'm gonna go and see what I can find in town and take it from there. You can usually go to the grocery store or a drug store or something and they have those freshwater fill stations. Well, they don't have those here in Creed. I called around, nobody has fresh drinking water. Instead, what they have is a roadside spigot. I have instructions here. We have to go past the ranch over the railroad tracks and then look for the pull off on the right hand side. So we're off to try to find this mystery spigot. Currently we are running parallel to the train tracks, but I know we have to cross them before we get to the spigot. So we're gonna keep on heading down this road. I'm not quite sure how much further it is. The first landmark was to look for a ranch with a bunch of roadside cabins. So I think we are getting closer. Ah, railroad. ah, there they are. So those are the railroad tracks. They've actually taken them out of the road. Um, but that's where they used to be. Here's a pull-off. Nothing in that pull-off, so we're gonna keep going. Just passed over a few more railroad tracks and here's a pull-off. Well, we didn't find a spigot, but we found the Rio Grande. So we're gonna let Jasper run around a little bit and play and then back on the surf. Kept going down the road was getting frustrated so I called the grocery store back that gave me instructions the first time and they said to head back towards town. It was actually only about three miles past one of the roads so we started heading back that way and look what we found. It's a well. All right this is the well that they say we can get drinking water out of. Supposedly it is fresh mountain water. First we have to get by the keeper of the water jugs. Not yet. We tuck the water jugs down in here. So we'll grab these guys. Unless I'm completely missing it, there's no way to make this go faster. Just gonna have to hang out while it drips. All right, I propped it up with a board here so I can leave it and let it drip. And Jasper and I are just gonna check out some of the scenery and uh, see how long it takes to get a full tank. Birds are getting upset because my water jug is in their well area. Although the uh, roadside spigot was quite the novelty, it really only filled up about three quarters of a gallon of water after 10 minutes. So we're gonna head into town, grab some food at the grocery store and see if we can just buy a gallon or two of water there. So I was able to pick up that two and a half gallon jug at the grocery store. It's not my preferred method because I don't like to use all that plastic. So we'll keep that jug around for a while and just keep refilling it. But it would be nice to fill up my six gallon and there is an RV park up here. So a lot of RV parks in the past, I just call them, explain I'm looking for water. I might have to pay the dump fee, the five, 10, 20 bucks to fill up, but um, I can usually fill up my water. I just tried pulling into this place back here and uh, I pulled in just to see if they would let me get some water. It's all gated up. They only let you in with a code. So I tried calling. I explained I was just there for water. He said, nope, we don't have water. He's like, okay, that's fine. Can you just let me through the gate so I can turn around? And uh, he hangs up on me. So I have two cars behind me. They can't get through the gate and then I called back and I said, hey, I'm stuck. I was like, I'm the one that called for water. Can you just let me out? 
And he's like, oh, what? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there. So the guy behind me comes out and he's like, here, let me let you through the gate. You're fine, just turn around. The guy comes running up from the office. He's like, no, 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 not without my permission. And then he lets me through, watches me, makes sure I leave, and is the absolute rudest person I've run into in probably my whole time on the road. So lesson learned, you can't go to just any RV park and ask if you can even pay for water because they might get mad at you. All right, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's see how that water tastes. Fresh mountain water. Cheers. Tastes like water. I came all the way back to my campground here at Marshall Park and took Jasper for a walk. Started talking to one of my neighbors and told him about my water dilemma. And he said there was a dump station in town with fresh water. We're gonna head back into town now. Thankfully, it's only about five miles away and see if we can find this public water. All right, three hours later and I have water. I put it in the tank and I am over 80% now. I do have to say in two years of being on the road, this is the hardest time I've ever found refilling those water jugs. Usually I can find a place and go out, fill those up, be back at the RV within 20, 30 minutes and have a consistent supply of water. So this was a first for me and I'll definitely make sure to remember to keep those jugs filled in my truck. I was actually just at a fresh water source in Pagosa before I came up here to Creed. And I was like, eh, I'm not gonna fill the jugs. There's always water, so why bother? But Lesson learned, you always encounter something new on the road. So I'm gonna go enjoy this hot shower and we will see you all next time. Thanks for watching everybody.